Hey scientists, have you ever wondered where water comes from? Well, let's take a moment to talk about the water cycle today. The amount of water on Earth never increases or decreases. All it does is travel around a bit through the water cycle. Let's say that the water starts in the ocean. I mean, since it's a cycle, it doesn't technically have a beginning, but we'll start with the ocean today. The sun beats down in the ocean, the water heats up, and the ocean water starts to evaporate. That's when water turns into its gas form, water vapor. Evaporation is what happens when you spill water on the sidewalk and it disappears. Anyway, when the ocean water evaporates, it moves upwards. Once the water vapors get high enough into the sky, they start to cool off and condensate. Condensation is when water vapors cool back down and become liquid again. Condensation also happens when you set a cold glass of water out on a table on a hot day and the outside of the cup gets wet and starts to sweat. The cup of water isn't actually sweating, it's just cold enough to cool off the water vapors in the air. In the sky, there's no cup for the water to collect on, so after a while, the liquid water collects together to form clouds. Once the clouds get heavy enough with rain, they start to lower and become darker. Dark, heavy clouds full of rain are called cumulonimbus clouds. Once the water has built up, the water comes back down to earth through precipitation. Precipitation is just water falling back to earth. It can be in many different forms. Mostly you think of rain, but it can also be snow, sleet, or hail. Once the water has fallen, it runs off from the land and joins the ocean again. It heads towards creeks that head towards streams and then to rivers which head back to the ocean. This is called runoff. Runoff is just water moving over or under the land to get back to a large body of water. But the water cycle is much more complicated. Not only is the water always moving, but evaporation doesn't just happen with ocean water. Lakes evaporate, ponds evaporate, even that water that you spilt on your shirt evaporates and heads back towards the next stop in the water cycle. And not all condensation turns into clouds. It can also become dew, like on plants in the morning, or it can become frost. The condensation cloud can even sink back down to the ground and become fog. Sometimes water vapors just hang around and become humidity. When we look at precipitation, it doesn't just have to be rain. It can also be snow, sleet, hail, mist, or even drizzle. And water runoff doesn't always end up back at the ocean. A lot of it ends up in frozen glaciers, it can end up in ponds, lakes, and it even goes underground to aquifers and groundwater. But once you tie it all back together, you end up with a water cycle. Let's pause and look at some questions. 